Please subscribe and do not forget to click the bell icon so that you can always stay connected with Nakoda Education and Home Tutors. Now let's talk about mass and weight. Let's take the concept and clear it. So mass, what is mass? So mass is the amount of matter amount of matter present in the object present in the object and the SI unit of mass SI unit of mass is kg and the value of mass it is a, it is a first scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity and its value does not change even uh, when we go from one planet to another planet means the value of mass is same everywhere so it is a scalar quantity and mass according to newton's first law according to Newton's first law it is or mass is the major of inertia of an object of an object so higher the mass higher the mass higher is the inertia higher is the Inertia. And now the weight, weight, the weight of an object, weight of an object is defined as, is defined as the force the force with which with which earth attracts earth attracts the object is called as V. Now the force the force F on an object on an object of mass of mass m on the surface of the earth on the surface of the earth can be written as can be written as Can be written as weight that is W is equal to F that is mg and we know that G is equal to Gm upon R square. Now weight being force it's a quantity is it is a vector quantity it is a vector quantity and the SI unit of weight is SI unit is Newton now, weight being force its SI unit is Newton हमें पता है कि वैल्यू जो जी की है दैट सेम नहीं है एवरीवेयर एंड दैट्स व्हाई वेट जो है 
हर जगह पे सेम नहीं रहता है वो चेंज होता रहता है एंड इट्स डायरेक्शन इज टूवर्ड्स द सेंटर ऑफ द अर्थ तो लेट्स सॉल्व वन एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन मास एंड वेट सो द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल व्हिच इज गिवन इन द टेक्स्ट बुक इज इफ अ पर्सन वेस 750 न्यूटन ऑन अर्थ हाउ मच वुड बी इट्स हिज वेट ऑन द मून गिवन दैट मून्स मास इज 1/81 ऑफ दैट ऑफ द अर्थ and its radius is 1/3.7 of that of the earth so let's first write down the given things so first weight jo diya hai weight on the earth it is 750 Newton. Next is ratio of ratio of mass of the earth that is en to the mass of to the mass of the moon it is 81 next is ratio of ratio of radius of the earth that is r e we make it here mass of the earth and this is mass of the moon and here it is radius of the earth to radius of the moon it is 3.7 Now let the mass of the person let the mass of the person mass of the person person b m kg the weight on the earth weight on the earth is equal to mg that is 750 newtons so let's substitute the values here mg me upon re square therefore m is equal to 750 re square upon g m e now weight on the moon weight on the moon is equal to m is 750 and first we'll write down the formula here that is m g m n upon r m square now we know the value of m here so let's substitute the values 750 r e square upon g m e into g m n upon r m square so this g and g gets cancelled so what we get i write it here 750 into r e square upon r m square into 
m m upon m b. So let's substitute the values here. We know that R e upon R m is here. It is three point seven. So we get seven fifty into three point seven square into m upon m m upon or uh, m e. That is eighty one. So it is sorry. It is one upon eighty one because it is m m upon m e. And this is this ratio is to m e to m m. That is eighty one. यहाँ पे उल्टा हो रहा है सो दैट्स वाई वी हैव टेकन वन अपॉन एटी वन एंड द आंसर इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट एट न्यूटन दैट इज द वेट ऑन द मून इज नियरली वन सिक्स ऑफ द वेट दैट इज ऑन द अर्थ नो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फ्री फॉल नो फ्री फॉल क्या है वेन एवर वेन एवर एन ऑब्जेक्ट whenever an object moves under the influence of under the influence of gravity alone it is said to be falling freely it is said to be falling freely now for freely falling uh, object for a freely falling object the initial velocity that is u is equal to 0 and acceleration is g this we can write the equation as this we can write the equation as v is equal to gt s is equal to 1 Half g t square and v square is equal to g s square and v square is equal to two g s. So these are the equation which can be derived. Now for an object, for an object thrown upward. upward as the object moves upward as the object moves upward the acceleration is opposite to the velocity so i write it here as the object moves upward the direction of the direction of direction of acceleration is opposite is opposite to that of that of the velocity that of the velocity and hence the acceleration is negative that is hence the acceleration is negative that is a is equal to minus g now let's solve the numerical numerical based on free fall So the first numerical which is given here is an iron ball of mass 3 kg is released from a height of 125 meters and falls freely to the ground assuming that the value of g is 10 meter per second square 
So what we have to calculate is time taken by ball to reach the ground, then velocity of ball on reaching the ground, and the height of the ball at at half the time it takes to reach the ground. So let's first write down the given things. First we will calculate time taken by a ball to reach the ground. What is given? Mass of the ball. That is M is equal to 3 kg. Then it is released from height 125 meters. That is distance traveled by the ball that is S is equal to 125 meters. Initial velocity initial velocity is equal to u is equal to 0 and the acceleration that is a is equal to 10 meter per second square. Let's calculate the time taken by ball to reach the ground. So first solve it here. So according to Newton's second law of motion S is equal to ut plus one half T square. So let's substitute the values here. S is equal to 125 meters is equal to U is 0. T we have to calculate plus 1 half. A is 10 into T square. So the answer is 5 T square here. It is T square is equal to 125 upon 5. It is, so it is 25. Therefore, T is equal to 5 seconds. Therefore, ball takes 5 second, seconds to reach the ground. Next, what we have to calculate is velocity of ball on reaching the ground. Next is According to according to Newton's first equation of motion, first equation of motion. Final velocity. final velocity that is v is equal to u plus at. So let's substitute the values here now. v is equal to initial velocity is 0, a is 10 and t is 5 that is 50 meter per second. So final velocity of ball on reaching the ground is 50 meter per second. And the last what we have to calculate is the height of the ball at half the time it takes to reach the ground. So half time is half time is equal to t is equal to 5 by 2 is equal to 2.5 second. The height of the ball at this time, height of the ball 
at this time is equal to s so according to newtons according to newtons this second equation of motion second equation of motion s is equal to ut plus 1/2 at square so let's substitute the values now 0 t is 2.5 seconds plus 1/2 a is 10 into 2.5 square that is 2.5 so it is 0 plus 5 into 2.5 square is equal to this 31. 25 meters so height of the ball at half time it is 125 minus 31.25 and that is it is 93.75 meters so height of the ball at half time is 93.75 meters same one more example is given in the textbook just go through it now let's talk about gravitational potential energy so the gravitational potential energy of an object gravitational potential energy of an object of an object at height h it h from the earth's surface earth's surface is minus g m m upon R plus h that is minus m g r square upon r plus h. Now let's talk about escape val a velocity. So the escape velocity that is v e c e c is equal to square root of two g m upon that is the square root of 2 g r. So for u, u is the initial velocity. For u is equal to escape velocity from the earth's surface the body body. overcomes or comes earth gravitation attraction gravitational attraction and it will then it will then move to infinity to infinity and then come back to come back to rest there so the total energy of body the total energy of the body 
revolving around the earth around the earth is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy so we know the formula kinetic energy is 1/2 mv square plus potential energy is minus gmm upon r plus h now we are done with the chapter now let's start with the exercise so the first question in the exercise is study the entries uh, in the following table and rewrite them putting the con uh, connected items in a single row so that is you just have to match the following so the first entry which is given here is mass meter per second square and zero at the center which is incorrect mass is measured in kg and kg and it is the measure of inertia next is weight unit of uh, this is measured in newton and it depends on height then acceleration due to gravity which is the unit is meter per second square and it is zero at the center and the last is gravitational constant that is the unit is newton meter square per kg square and it is same in the entire universe second question in the exercise is answer the following question so the first question under this question is what is the difference between mass and weight of an object and will the mass and weight of the object uh, on the earth be same as their values on mass and y so the first क्वेश्चन uh, में आपको क्या एक्सप्लेन करना है मास एंड वेट जो है इनके डेफिनेशन आपको बताने हैं दैट मास इज द जस्ट द मैटर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द ऑब्जेक्ट सो मास कंसिडर किया जाता है वेट जो है दैट इज द फोर्स विथ विच अर्थ अट्रैक्ट्स इट टूवर्ड्स इट्स हेल्थ दैट इज द वेट ना द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विल द मास एंड वेट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द अर्थ बी सेम एज देयर वैल्यूज ऑन मास सो नो मास जो है वो सिमिलर रहेगा जो जो भी मास अर्थ पे रहेगा सेम मार्स पे उतना ही मास रहेगा बट जो वेट है दैट विल बी चेंज अर्थ पे जितना वेट है कंपेरेटिवली मास पे जो वेट रहेगा दैट विल बी चेंज बिकॉज ऑफ ग्रेविटी बिकॉज द वैल्यू ऑफ जी ऑन द मास इज डिफरेंट दैन द वैल्यू ऑफ जी ऑन द अर्थ एंड दैट्स वाई इट विल बी चेंज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में आपको डेफिनेशन पूछे गए हैं फ्री फॉल एस्केप वेलॉसिटी सेंट्रोपिटल फोर्स एंड Uh, acceleration due to gravity so you just have to uh, define these terms third question is write the three laws given by kepler and how did they help newton to arrive at the inverse law of inverse square, uh, square law of gravity that is ye jo inverse square law hai that is the force is uh, is inversely proportional to 1/r square so isme aapko kya karna hai jo kepler's ke three laws hai वो एक्सप्लेन करने हैं तीनों के तीनों लॉ विथ डायग्राम एंड देन आपको एक्सप्लेन करना है कि न्यूटन ने इनवर्स स्क्वायर लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटी कैसे कैसे डिस्क्राइब किया दैट इज एफ इज इक्वल एफ इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू वन अपॉन आर स्क्वायर दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ स्टोन थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपवर्ड्स विथ इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी यू रीचेज अ हाइट एच बिफोर कमिंग डाउन so that the time taken to go up is same as the time taken to come down so we have v is equal to u plus at and s is equal to ut plus 1/2 at square u is equal to v minus at so here we will write term therefore s is equal to v minus at and this t is here plus 1/2 at square that is pt minus at square plus 1/2 at square therefore s is equal to vt minus 1/2 at 
80 square. This is the first equation we have derived. Now, I've drawn a diagram here that is a stone moves from A to B and from B to A downward direction. Mein. So, as stone moves, as stone moves from A to B, A to B, then S is equal to AB, that is height. T is equal to T1 time taken uh, uh, to stone to reach from A to B is T1. Then U is equal to U, that is the initial velocity is U and B is equal to 0. Then acceleration A is equal to minus G, that is retardation. So from this equation, equation first, h is equal to, we are just substituting the values here, 0 minus 1 half, 80 square, so a is minus g and t square. Now t is t1, so t1 square. Therefore, h is equal to 1 half gt1 square as the stone moves downward from uh, b to a then the values will be this is the second equation as the stone moves downward from b to a then T is equal to T2, U is equal to U, S is equal to H and A is equal to G. Then from this equation we can say that H is equal to 1 a half G2 T square, G T 2 square. So this is the third equation we have derived. So from these two equations, we can say that T1 square is equal to T2 square. That is T1 is equal to T2. Hence, time taken uh, for stone to reach from A to B and B to A is the same. Next question is, if the value of G suddenly becomes uh, twice its value, it will become two times more difficult to pull a heavy object along the floor and bar. So the first point in this is to pull an object to pull an object along the floor along the floor it is necessary it is necessary to work to do work against against the force of friction against the force of friction force of friction between the object between the object and the surface of the floor and the surface of the floor. And this force of friction is proportional to the weight of the object. So, this force of friction is proportional is proportional The weight mg of the object. Now, if the value of g uh, becomes twice its value, the weight of the object, 
uh, and hence the force of friction will become double. So, if the value of G becomes twice its twice its value the weight of the object and hence the force of friction force of friction will become will become and therefore it is uh, difficult to pull a heavy object along the floor next question is explain why the value of g is zero at the center of the earth now we know that the value of g changes while we go inside uh, the earth dip inside the earth and it goes on decreasing as we go from the earth's surface towards the earth's uh, center now we shall treat the earth as a uh, sphere as a sphere of uniform density if we consider the particle of mass m at point p at a distance r minus d from the earth's center i've drawn a diagram here that is particle at a point p from the earth's center at distance r minus d so here r is the radius of the earth d is the depth uh, below the earth's surface the gravitational force on uh, the particle exerted by the earth is equal to that is force is equal to gmm upon r minus d square where this m is the mass of the sphere of radius r minus d no. so we have just uh, derived the formula here so mass is equal to 4 uh, 4 by 3 pi in bracket r minus d cube into m upon 4 by 3 pi r cube so here we get m in bracket r minus d cube upon r cube now this is because the outer spherical shell this is the outer spherical shell is not effective and in this case the acceleration due to gravity is so the acceleration g is equal to f by m is equal to g upon r minus d square into m uh, into r minus d cube upon r cube so the value is gm in bracket r minus d upon r cube where m is the mass of the earth now, thus the g decreases as the d increases value of g decreases as the value of d increases so it it is less than uh, that at the earth's surface that is gm upon r square at the earth's center d is equal to r and therefore g is equal to zero and that's why the value of g is zero at the earth's center the next question is let the period of revolution of planet at a distance r from its star uh, be t then prove that if it was at a distance of 2r from the star its period of revolution will be square root of 80 so here t is equal to 2 pi upon uh, square root of gm r into r raised to two, uh, 3 by 2 where t is the period of revolution of a planet around the sun m is the mass of the sun g is the gravitational constant where r is equal to radius of the orbit assumed to be circular that is distance uh, and that is distance of the planet from the sun so for r is equal to small r is equal to capital r and t is equal to t1 then t1 is equal to 2 pi upon square root of gm into r raised to 3 by 2 if r if we have taken r is equal to 2 r and t is equal to t2 then t2 is equal to 2 pi upon square root of gm into 2 r raised to 3 by 2 that is 2 pi upon uh, square root of gm into r upon r raised to 3 by 2 into 2 raised to 3 by 2 so agar values nikalte hai then t2 is equal to t1 uh, in the square square root of 8 that is it is square root of 80 and hence it is proved that if we have taken 
uh, to our if the planet is placed at a distance to r from the sun then the period of revolution will be square root of 8 नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो दिया गया है दैट इज सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग एग्जांपल सो न्यूमेरिकल्स दिए गए हैं फर्स्ट व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज राइट डाउन द गिवन थिंग्स देन राइट डाउन द फार्मूला व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू दैट क्वेश्चन सब्स्टिट्यूट द वैल्यूज एंड आपको आंसर निकालना